Hello everyone, this is Across the Board with Jeff Grant here at SBRForum.com. Monday, college basketball action. We're going to head to the Big 12 Conference. The Texas Longhorns versus the Oklahoma Sooners at Lloyd Noble Center in Norman, Oklahoma. The Sooners have remained as 7-point home favorites in this contest since being released at that number on Sunday afternoon. While the total has made the real move from 121.5 to 123.5, and, and I think that is a significant move. Uh, heading into the direction that I'm going to direct you in this video. Uh, the Longhorns are 0-4 to start Big 12 Conference play. They're coming off a disappointing 64-59 setback to the Kansas Jayhawks as 8-point home underdogs. I think they may come out a little flat in this one. They blew an 11-point lead with just over 15 minutes to play against the Jayhawks on Saturday. And the reason I say they may come out a little flat, I think some people are just going to play uh, the Longhorns figuring that this is their biggest rivalry game, um, but I don't think that's really the case. I think Kansas is their biggest rival in college basketball. Uh, a lot of people are going to attribute the biggest rivalry to the Red River rivalry when these two teams face off on the college football gridiron, but not the case here in college basketball. Uh, the Longhorns really struggle offensively, shooting just 40% from the field and 62.9% from the free throw line. This team has really relied heavily on defensive pressure and having the second best field goal percentage defense in the entire country. Uh, when you look at the series history in this, you're going to have a lot to like with the Longhorns. They've won 13 of the last 15 meetings overall, including six straight. And during the Rick Barnes era, even though this is a downward trodden season in his regard, uh, Barnes has led the Longhorns to a 20-14 and 14 mark overall against the Sooners. Uh, betting trend-wise, there are some things alike with 15-8 and eight against the spread as an underdog the last two-plus seasons for the boys from Austin. And one of my favorite angles, even though I'm not going to go with it in this game, is playing a team that is getting points for the first time in a, in a series like this, in a conference series, uh, and now they are getting points after being favored in eight straight meetings. So that is always one of my favorite angles to look at, but I'm not going to back that angle in this one. I really like the Oklahoma Sooners this year and in, in underneath uh, Long Kruger's direction, the former uh, UNLV running Rebels head coach. Uh, they had their season high five game win streak snapped last time out. 69-60 setback to the Kansas State Wildcats as seven point road underdogs. When you look inside the numbers in that game, you really wonder how this team didn't win. They outshot the Wildcats. They also had a plus 12 advantage in rebounding uh, when the final whistle blew. But it was all about turnovers and points off turnovers. They were outscored 26-6 uh, in that particular category, and that's why they lost by nine points last time out. This team has only played seven home games this year. That is tied for the fewest among the power conferences. 74 teams make up those power conferences like the Big 12, Big East, Pac-12 and so on. So this team really hasn't had a chance to play at home very often because I think Kruger was setting up a non-conference schedule to get his team ready for later on in Big 12 conference play and hopefully making an NCAA uh, tournament appearance. Uh, I'm going to back the Oklahoma Sooners because they are 7-0 and their last seven opportunities in this building against line competition against the spread. Uh, my only hindrance when handicapping this game is they are 0-5 ATS when facing a team that scores 64 points or less. And I think Texas is going to have tr uh, trouble reaching that number, and they aren't a very good offensive team. But I think a letdown is going to happen for the Longhorns. And I think the Sooners, now that they have a really good head coach on their sideline, I think they're going to start getting the best of the series, as Barnes's program has had a little trouble since Kevin Durant has left Austin. So my pick in this game is going to be the Oklahoma Sooners minus 7 over the Texas Longhorns on Monday night. This has been Across the Board with Jeff Grant here at SBRForum.com. For any further information on this game or any other on the college basketball board here on Martin Luther King Day, you can follow me on Twitter at Jeff Grant Sports.